This is a fifth video about the motor control circuit and in this video you can see how to make your control circuits based on the components that you already placed in your power circuit. The control circuit is supposed to be on this page here and when I make the control circuit I make it based on the same components if they have control uh, functions of course but the same components as I had in my power circuit. That means that I'll use this window over here called show available window and uh, that means that uh, in this window here I can see the rest of the components that I placed on the power circuit. Meaning if I look at the contactor here I can see that my available symbols are my coil and my control contacts. If I look up here for my uh, thermal overload I can see thermal overload control contacts here. And um, the symbols here, they are the symbols that I'll use for my control circuit. So I will start by picking my coil here click and then again my router is active I can place it here in this current path here I can go to Q2 and take this one and place it in my uh, current path 3 this one in 5 and this one in 7 and again use the align and simply click one of them and the symbols here will be aligned again if I want to have my um, uh, what to call this uh, holding circuit? I can go down and click this one, and uh, click this one, and click this one, and um, I could do that for all of them, and place them here as I just did. And again, go down and select the align function here. Instead of just clicking from the components here, and it doesn't really make sense, I can go up here and uh, in my uh, pick menu I want to have a push button here. I can click this one and say if I place it here, I can uh, go to my database and I can find a, um, uh, what is it, a, um, a, a red push button. And it's here and I can double click here and give it a name Blink, and then it's here and now it's placed in here in my diagram if I want to have a green push button I can place it here I don't want it to be rooted upwards and downwards so I use this button 2 you remember that from the router video click here go to the database we want again this one so now I'll just have a push button a green one give it a new number and place it here and again the router angle line you remember this one space is what I use to turn it around and here it's okay and then I can click and uh, that's my small circuit again I could copy as you saw before I could, if I want to copy, I'll go in this area command and I'll mark it and then I can go in and deselect by control clicking what I don't want to add to my copy. So control C and place it here and align a little bit. You get this rename dialog and everything here will be uh, placed the way it should be and you're very soon finished with this control circuit page here and see available symbols they're still here if you wanted to use them in another context so um, that was something about the control circuit